Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode on our channel. In this one, we're gonna be doing another little mini series for our carrier build. So uh, definitely stick around, we got some cool stuff. This is gonna be the first of many for our aerial drones that we're gonna start making. This one specifically is gonna be a, a little microcopter. But in the meantime, if you guys do like the uh, videos and like the series, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and keep coming back for more. I'm going to keep making these videos for you guys. But in the meantime, um, I think you guys will definitely like what we got in store for today. This is going to be a very, very small little helicopter that can be remotely controlled from either the ship or a handheld remote control. And we're going to make a few of these. So um, this is probably going to be a multi-part series, but not too long, maybe like two, three parts. Um, nothing crazy. Easy, but uh, yeah, so we are just kind of getting the body put together in this episode and we'll fly it around a little bit more. And then in the next episode, I'm going to make one with uh, more weapons on it, a search and rescue version, and then also like a crane version. But uh, yeah, I'll just kind of stop yapping about and we will get into the build and I'll let the time lapse roll.
All right, so I'm just gonna pop back in and we'll talk a little bit about what we've done so far. So um, you guys can see the overall footprint of the helicopter is very, very small. And that was kind of the idea. I wanna be able to cram as many of these on the boat as possible. So the, the way we did this is really, I'm going to use counter rotating props on the top, which you see there, two, two different rotors. And those are a little tricky, but you can save a lot of space in the tail and you need a lot less power if you, uh, not necessarily less power, but you, you need to transfer power less areas, which makes the uh, helicopter a lot smaller. So um, I went for that and then we did a modular engine. I believe it is like a six cylinder or something like that. I know the crane version is a little different. I know I added a couple cylinders for the crane version in another episode, um, but for the most part, we got the body shaped out and I'm just kind of doing a lot of the wiring right now. The logic for this thing, I did a lot of the logic off camera just because it, it requires a lot of testing and um, I end up putting a gyroscope in this thing too. Uh, but with the counter rotating props, you just got to kind of do a little bit of math on the side and the yaw is going to react a little differently. So um, you got to do a, some additional math for that too, just because of the uh, you're, you're not rotating with the uh, force of a propeller, you're using the difference in rotating mass. So um, it reacts a little bit differently, but that's a little bit more advanced than I'd like to get into right now. Um, for the most part, we have, uh, like I said, we've fleshed out the entire thing. I'm going to, I, I'm gonna make that camera fixed. It, we end up getting a pretty good uh, camera angle from it, but the other main goal of this helicopter was all of the computing is going to be done on the helicopter and then sent. I don't want it to be sending data and then it, the data getting computed on the boat and then data getting sent back to the helicopter. So in, a, in an ideal world, this helicopter does not have to even send any data to operate. Um, and that was really one of the main goals for this is I want you to be able to pick up a, a handheld remote control, change the channel on the drone to one of the channels on the remote hop on a seat and be able to take that drone as far as you possibly want with the gas that it has. Um, and that is, you know, obviously outside the restraints of how far you can send video, um, not necessarily radio, but video is a little bit of a limiting factor. So um, yeah, that's really the goal. And you'll see that I, I think it's a really cool little concept that it can be operated either remotely via the, the ship or, you know, via a crew of people whenever they need it or for what, whatever they need. Uh, all right, so we got it out in the world here, and I did, well, I guess I had some work off camera. You see I got some guns in there. <laughs> I crammed two uh, light auto cannons in there with their own drum, uh, ammo drums, so that's pretty cool. We're going to cram this thing with weapons. You're going you're gonna to probably be pretty surprised at how much I, I fit onto this and then the other little uh, plane drone we make. Um, but yeah, so you see it's flying pretty well now. We got uh, all this data is being computed on the helicopter. It's being sent via the video to uh, where I'm sitting. And then this seat is sending, you know, its control output to the helicopter. But, um, you know, all of this functions in a way in which, again, you can just pick up the, the handheld remote and I will basically make both of the vehicles, the helicopters and the planes in all of this be compatible both ways from the same drone station or a handheld remote. So everything on the uh, ship is going to be very, very dependent on a handheld remote. But I also think that this is just kind of cool because it makes it a lot more useful uh, for single player purposes or, um, you know, like small squad insurgency specifically is what this is for, uh, this little war helicopter. But um, yeah, so that's about it. I will cut back into the time lapse and then we'll talk a little bit more about what I've done. Um, I'm kind of just showing you guys off here real quick uh, how easy this thing is to control and I'm actually quite happy with it. So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get back into the time lapse and we will finish the build out and then I will talk a little bit more about it.
All right, guys, so this is pretty much it for the helicopter. I reviewed the footage. I decided to just make this one specific helicopter its own episode. Um, I, I had like another hour of footage, but it was mostly just like me and microcontrollers and paint blocks and stuff like that. I figured you guys didn't really want to see too much of that. Um, so yeah, this is it. This is us hopping in it, testing it out. Um, I'll go over real quick what kind of weapons we added. So on each side there is um, two 50 cal machine guns, there is two light auto cannons, um, and then on also each side we also have um, two uh, bombs that you can drop that have two warheads on them each. So. Um, Pretty cool, lots of weapons. Uh, I'm just kind of flying it around here. We, uh, I'm, I'm testing the controls. I wanted to check out the lights in the dark, but I'm gonna try to land it on the carrier here in a second. And you see, I, I added a cool little timer on the uh, guns here. Um, I did that to kind of preserve ammo as well as it keeps the weapons from overheating so you can just hold the trigger down longer. So I think it's kind of cool, it adds a fun little effect. It's just a, a couple little timers set up differently, but. Yeah, here we are, and I'm going to try to fly this out onto the carrier, and this is, you know, us on the, the right side of it this time with our handheld remote. And, yeah, you can see it's the, the visibility is not, like, incredible, but it's also kind of just useful to uh, be able to transport people around. So, um, you know, I, I can't imagine if, if you're really trying to get into a, a big fight or engage like a boat with this thing or something, it's probably gonna be done from the drone station. And that drone station that was back in the hangar, I will uh, eventually, I'll get that into the ship. But, but yeah, guys, you can see we, we're coming up on the ship now. Um, and that is just gonna be about it for, my, for us. So. Um, I'm gonna land it on the boat. We're gonna kind of fly it around. I'm gonna parallel the boat a little bit, show off. Uh, again, it's pretty easy to control. But um, yeah, that's about it for the episode. If you guys like the build, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We will keep making these builds. I got a few more of these helicopters coming out. Um, we got a little bit of a uh, tiny little plane drone coming out. Um, and I also have a little other man flown plane that we will uh, make for this ship. So definitely I will keep these videos coming. Just smash that like button, keep coming back for more, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.